America. Welcome to another exciting episode of In Your House with Antoine Clements. If you haven't noticed, I am the face of public access, and this is the last show of part six of season one and a half of In Your House with Antoine Clements. I thank you guys for joining us for the 20 was 27 plus episodes that we have gave you in this one season as we come to the final conclusion of part six. Not saying this is our last show, but in two weeks, we have our one year anniversary show and man, are we going nonstop. But we'll tell you about that show a little bit later on. But before we get down to what this show is about, I gotta tell you what's been grinding my gears. Are you ready? Yeah. That doesn't sound confident to me. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. In the news, Arnold Schwarzenegger is back in the news, you guys. But don't get worried, because it's not for infidelity. It's because he's been accused of using California state troopers to secure his private estate. Yes. In my opinion, in the last 10 years, Arnold Schwarzenegger has been using the wrong type of protection. Ugh. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But that's, that's, <laughs> that's Arnold, you guys. Oh, you guys, in, in other news uh, today, I want to tell you that when, you know, I was a little boy, you know, my mother, you know, she, uh, she, she didn't like me. She didn't like me at all. You can always tell when your parents doesn't like you when your favorite toys are a toaster and a radio. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, bad things, you guys, bad things. Uh, listen, we all have family feuds in our life, and I'm not talking about the family feud on WCIU. I'm talking about our family feuds. You know, I have a family feud in my house all the time. It's, it comes around when people die. It's always over the wheel. We've had feuds over the wheel. But see, my kids are not going to have to worry about anything. You know why? Because before I die, I'm going to spend every last dime. So they're not going to have to worry about a thing. <laughs> a thing what they have to worry about. I want to tell you guys a, a story. I went to jail before. Yeah, I did. You know, I tell you, I told you last year I used to be a thug. I know you can't tell now, but trust me, I was a little thug, okay? So and back in 2009, I went to jail because I was doing 109 in a 55 mile zone. I was younger, you know, younger than I'm 21 now, but you know, I was a little bit younger, so it was 2009. So when I got arrested, and this was in another country, I mean another state, I'm sorry, this was in uh, down down in Oklahoma. And when I was arrested, the uh, prison that was we supposed to went over to was overfilled, so we had to go to the uh, sheriff's mansion. So when it came down to serving us uh, food, and you know, we, they asked, they came to me and said, "What do you want to eat?" I'm like, "What do I want to?" Eat? So I they were like, pick anything. So I was like, uh, okay, can I get a ham and cheese omelet and uh, some pancakes and some cheese grits? They said, yeah. So they got me the cheese grits, and I'm like, okay, great. So I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this prison visit, right? So then it came down to lunchtime, and they came to me again and said, Antoine, what do you want? I'm like, what do I want? I'm like, okay. Give me, uh, you know, give me two double cheeseburgers, right? And put put the onions in it. Just create it, right? So they came and gave me that. So it came down to dinner time. They was they was about to release me. Like, what you mean you about to release me? I want to stay right here. I don't want to go nowhere. What you talking about? I'm gonna stay right here in prison. You guys, we got a granddaddy show lined up today. Justice is in the house. <laughs> We're going to reveal some hidden secrets about see the, the one year anniversary show, all and more when we come back from this commercial break. You. Think. You. Got talent. Come out to see if you think you got talent and a chance to win $15,000. Auditions will be held in Gary, Indiana at the Genesis Convention Center, Friday, July 13th, 2012. Register online at lrpnetwork.com before it's too late. Hi, I'm Judah, and here's the trivia question for today. 
Who was the first president? Who was the first youngest president of the United States? To answer this question, go online to facebook.com slash in your house with Antoine Clements. And remember, if you get it right, you'll walk away with a hundred dollar gift card to any store of your choice. <laughs> Welcome back to In Your House with Antoine Clemens. I'm joined in the living room today with the gospel recording artists known as Justice. How are you guys doing today? How are you doing today? Thank you. Awesome fan support for the, the gospel group known as Justice. Uh, I wanted you to go around and introduce yourselves uh, to the viewing audience. Hello, my name is Maurice Gregory. I'm uh, Derek Denson. Herschel Sampson. Michael Howard. All right, and you got, oh, oh, okay, great. And I'm Antoine Clemens. You <laughs> 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 passed me the mic, so <laughs> hey, I want to ask you guys a few questions. Tell us about Justice and how long you guys been singing together. Well, actually, we started singing in 1986, um, mm. um, but since then, we've gone our separate ways. Mm -hmm. we, we were apart for about 15 years and um, came back together in 2010 and Completed our first project. Um, this particular group has been together a little over a year, so mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing some great things in the past year. Okay, and why the name Justice? Well, Justice, we had a couple of names before Justice. Mm -hmm. The first name, I, I believe, was Me and the Boys, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> me and the Boys. So whoever said me, the boys would follow me. <laughs> okay. We didn't know who me was, but shortly, that lasted for a day or two. And then uh, one of the guys said, how about just us? You know, okay. and I misinterpreted what he said to Justice. Uh -huh. And he said, no, just us. And I said, well, I like justice better. <laughs> okay. You know? um, so it stuck with justice, you know, and uh, we spelled it J-U-Z-T-I-C-E. Mm -hmm. So it stuck with us. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, <laughs> so, Derek, I see you're the, uh, the leader of the group, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the leader. Wow. I'm the leader. <laughs> my, my solo project is coming out. It's, uh, it's lonely at the top. Okay. <laughs> No, no, we all work together um, as a group, you know, uh, no one is greater than the next. You know, God uses us uh, individually mm -hmm. and as a whole. Okay. Now, know? why the group, what, what is the reason for the formation and the forming of the group known as Justice? Well, our original, um, we originally formed, it, it was actually, actually a joke, I guess, uh, when we got together, um, a friend of mine, um, challenged me to do an audition um, mm -hmm. for a talent show when we were in college. Um, I wasn't going to do it, but he dared me to do it. Me and him did it. Uh, we did a duet um, by the Winans tomorrow. And um, that was basically supposed to be it just for that audition, to fill a space on the audition. Uh, but when we came out of the room, um, Derek and another one of our friends walked up to us like, well, you know, if y'all sing, then let's form a group. We did that, uh, went back and auditioned the next day, mm -hmm. uh, made the talent show, and um, and lost, of course. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, after losing the talent show, mm -hmm. um, a lot of churches started inviting okay. us to come in. We were just, you know, a group of young men that, you know, was just traveling around. And, and um, before you know it, we were just booked for weeks at a time, mm -hmm. um, singing at different churches and musicals. So. Okay. Uh, you know, it just basically started from there and, you know, has grown to where we are now. Okay, now it, it says here uh, that you have a CD, a new CD called Love, Life, and Blessing. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Love, Life, and Blessing, and did you guys compose your, your, your own music? Uh, indeed, we did. Um, it's basically comprised of uh, Maurice Gregory, Derek Denson did some writing, um, I did some writing, mm -hmm. um, Mike had came you know, came later, you know, okay. came later. So um, we we pretty much uh, have various styles. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of combined our three styles of right. writing together, okay. um, you know. So it just kind of came together. God blessed it. And we didn't really intend on having a long, uh, drawn-out process of writing. We just said, okay, Maurice, you know, what you have? Sam, what you got? You know, Derek, what do you have? And we just came, we just came together and okay. it was blessed, yeah. Now, what gospel artists, a lot of gospel artists are inspired by other gospel artists, and what gospel artists inspired you guys to become a group? 
Uh, well, definitely commission um, would be number one. Okay. Um, primarily for the group okay. aspect of it. Um, the winings, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, me personally, I have several. You mm -hmm. know, uh, Stevie Wonder is <coughs> one okay. really sticks out for me as okay. a, you know, as far as his writing style, right. Donny Hathaway. Um, Mitchell Jones from Commission also. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, those, you know, that's my, those are my personal, you know, uh, preferences as far as how I started to write. Uh, they really inspired me a whole lot. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's about it. Okay. Now, what audience are you guys endeavoring to reach with this music? Now, I, I heard the song um, that you guys are going to be performing later on here today, uh, Dance, and it's uh, an awesome song, and I be singing it while I'm cleaning up the kitchen sometimes. So it's a, <laughs> it's a, a nice piece of work there. <laughs> And so what, uh, what inspired you guys to uh, uh, move into that, uh, that area? Well, um, your first question as far as uh, the audience we're trying to reach, mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to reach everybody because okay. everybody needs to hear what, mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. Um, there's a lot of people out here, you know, you got hardworking people, right. that, you know, nine to five jobs. Exactly. And sometimes they want to hear some mm -hmm. good music. That I, I, I got a nine to two. Okay. Okay. Well, okay well, that's cool. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, so it's a message that we're trying to uh -huh. put out here. And, you know, even with our youth, you know, all the violence that's going on in our world today, you know, we want to we want to be a positive uh, light to the people out here. You know, so we want to reach all ages uh -huh. from two to 100. Uh -huh. you know? Cool. So and that's that's where we're at today. Mm, great. I can't wait to get to the hundreds, right? No, those yeah. people not. Right. Uh, what are some of the future goals? Uh, goals of uh, of justice. <laughs> we just bet you do. <laughs> the, the goals we have. Well, we made the first CD. Okay. Okay, and we want to um, make as many CDs as possible. Okay. You know, a, as long as the audience has a need for justice, mm -hmm. we're going to keep coming with it. Okay. You know, I know I have a lot of writing that I have, and. Mm -hmm. um, these guys and Mike has a lot of writing skills that we're gonna um, use. Pretty much, we we've been through a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you go through something, it makes you a great writer, mm -hmm. you know. And when you come out of something, you know, you're able to tell somebody else. And we do it through song, you know. And it really just comes across really good. <clears throat> the people grab it, and they use it in their lives, you know. Now the the music video dance, uh, what? Uh, what, why did you pick that concept? And we're going to play that vi uh, video a little bit later on in the show, but what made you uh, think of that concept and the purpose of the song dance? Well, the purpose of the, the song dance was basically to um, inspire um, people that may be going through different things in life. We know that um, life brings its own changes mm -hmm. as you live life. Um, but the song Dance was basically written to those people that, that may be experiencing some things, some, some difficult times, some um, tough circumstances, um, that, they would, that they would dance through it. And um, dance was basically an acronym that, that came to me um, where it said, don't give up on your dreams, answer your problems with prayer, um, never give up, cast your cares on him, and expect the best every day and um, basically that's what dance is saying no matter what's happening in your life keep that expectation um, that the best is still yet to come and um, as long as we're still breathing we have an opportunity um, for things to turn around in our favor now I see mm -hmm. I noticed that the CD contains different styles uh, such as uh, jazz contemporary um, etc why those elements you know, that's that's all he listens to most of the time, you know, progressive jazz. Um, you know, I'm a church boy. My mama didn't let me listen to nothing else. So <laughs> so <laughs> basically that's the gospel aspect. And, you know, and, um, you know, Derek has his own writing style. So we were able to come together. You know, yeah. what you think about that? Well, I, I think I, I like a little bit of uh, rock, laid mm -hmm. back, okay. then, Christian rock, uh, Maroon 5 you know, things like that. Uh, when we broke apart for a little while, for the 15 years, we all went our separate ways, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we all learned different um, styles, mm -hmm. you know. So that's the thing about the CD. It's got to be something on there that you like. Exactly. You know, it's got to be, because you got different writing styles from everyone. You may not like nine, but that 10th one you're going to like. Mm 
Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it should work out. It's now, with well, my music out. background, I've uh, and I've heard the uh, the album. I've heard, especially my favorite song, which is Dance. Uh, it's uh, uh, it has all different flavors of, 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 of different music and different uh, genres of the business, you can tell. And as a young person, you know, I believe it, if it sings to me, I know it will reach a massive uh, group of people with that. Now, why gospel over R&B? <coughs> well, um, you know, indeed, sometimes you, you, you begin to waver and you listen to a lot of various styles of music. Um, like Maurice was saying, I'm a big jazz fanatic. And so... Um, Therefore, playing the drums in church, growing up in church, playing drums, of course, you know, I was made to go to church, and I loved it, and then I, you know, kind of just went out and experienced, you know, various music mm -hmm. styles, but what's interesting is gospel, unlike any other music, has a very powerful um, message that, you know, of life, mm -hmm. and everyone has to connect with that, right. and that's something we wanted to do was minister to uh you know, a variety of people, mm -hmm. you know, not just church people necessarily that are inside of the church. We wanted to minister outside of the church. Mm -hmm. And that's the best way to grab people is to go outside of the church and minister. Exactly. So that's why we're here. So, exactly. you know. And I, and I think that, um, you know, with gospel music, um, that's one of the few musical genres that actually speak um, to the soul. Um, there's a lot of people that are looking for something. They're reaching out for something crying out to something, and um, God has blessed us to be able to fill that void and, and speak to that need. If there's a beat on there that they're listening to, now they're going to catch them with that beat. They're going to be moving and doing their thing. And Jesus, did they say Jesus? What, what is that going right. on? You know, <laughs> exactly. you got them, you know. Mm -hmm. So and that reminds me of the BBC <coughs> whining uh, uh, release. Uh, was I want to be close to you or just want to be close to you? And uh, and you heard that song in the clubs, you know. And it was uh, not saying I was at the clubs or anything like that. <laughs> no, not saying that, but you know, <laughs> you heard that, <laughs> right? I'm not saying I just drove past it and I kind of heard it, you know, <laughs> playing while it was in there. I'm telling the truth on that. <laughs> so you know, it was in the clubs and people were there and they didn't know that, you know, uh, that song. They were like BBC, you see, you know, made right. this. Song, then everyone was like, okay, and it, you you had a, uh, a a trend worldwide of this song being played in all types of places, mm -hmm. and I believe where you guys are going with your music is that same uh, that same flavor. You know, you're bringing it to a, a different audience, not just your gospel religious base of you know audience, but that broad of audience of the people that's right. not into the gospel that can be brought and saved through that message. Right. When we come back, we're going to hear from Justice performing one of their hit singles. When we come back from this commercial break. You. Think. You. Got. Talent. Come out to see if you think you got talent and a chance to win $15,000. Auditions will be held in Gary, Indiana at the Genesis Convention Center, Friday, July 13th, 2012. Register online at lrpnetwork.com before it's too late. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the gospel recording artist is known as Justice. Now come on, get up on your feet and put your hands together. Do I have any dancers out there? Let me hear you. Come on. are a part of every day, but if you listen, we'll show you the way, yeah. oh yeah, oh my, backs up against the wall, just remember who to call, but the race is not given to the swift or to the strong, 
group there. That's my part. Do you? Do yeah, you know, I'm not going to get to sing in here, in here today. I want to thank Justice for coming on the show today. Yeah. The powerhouse of a group. When the album come out, go out and buy one. Please, this is a group that's going far and beyond. You know what? Justice, I'm going to assist you in helping you getting out that part. How about that? Yeah. How about that? How about I help you guys? Get to that point yeah. that you need to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Life Run Productions right. is behind this group. I want to thank each and every last one of you. Don't forget to go on audition for You Think You Got Talent this July 13th at the Justice Convention Center. Don't forget that trivia question, a $100 gift card. Who was the youngest president of the United States? <laughs> talent and a chance to win $15,000. Auditions will be held in Gary, Indiana at the Genesis Convention Center, Friday, July 13th, 2012. Register online at lrpnetwork.com before it's too late. <laughs> That's great. And we're, we're back again. I haven't been here for a long time. I was sick with um, with the flu and the uh, uh, fevers and the, um, the head, uh, you, you know, all that type of stuff. You know, they just released me and stuff. But um, it's good to be back with y'all in the house, man. That's why I'm Clement. 
I love, I love the, uh, I love the, the, uh, the support that we got from our people in the audience. They so beautiful, and, I, and the people that was just singing the mess. I was bringing tears to my eyeballs. The cuticle, is it called the cuticle? Uh, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about, but you know, but I got some issues. To talk about um, with what's cooking in the kitchen. I got some issues with. Um, these social networks, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of them out here, you know, like Urban Chat, Tag, MySpace, Black Planet, Skype, Uvu, you know, we got uh, Black People Meet, White People Meet, Mexican Mayhem, you know, uh, Christian Mingle. <laughs> Christian Mingle. <laughs> Singlemom.com, like. <laughs> Why do you, singlemom.com? You got eHarmony, like, <laughs> cougarlife.com. Cougarlife.com, datacougar.com. Like, <laughs> you know, and then we got the popular uh, network like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you know, all these good things. And, you know, I mean, why do you, yeah, okay, why, why do you need all of these? Social networks. If you can't, if you need all these social networks to find and meet new people, then you need to call one eight hundred. I'm crazy. <laughs> now this number is one eight hundred four six two seven two nine nine. Okay, you know it's just this line is open twenty four seven. You know, and and there are people there to help you with this, with your social people network, uh, all that, all those people's skills. Because if you can't find a uh, friend or uh, if it takes you all these networks to find just one friend and it, it might need a pro it's a problem you know? <laughs> and you know I just got another another issue with um, these people these females you know it's, it's starting to get a little warm out y'all know what happens when you know we got these irregular females wearing uh, irregular things you know like um, like these Daisy Dukes, got your buns all out, you got cellulite growing on your left butt cheek, and it's just all types of stuff that's going on with these young ladies that's not dressing wholesome-like, you know. We got some young ladies in the audience right now that's dressing real wholesome-like and conservative with yeah. themselves, you know. We're gonna give it up for them, okay, right. But I, but I wanna talk about these unwholesome young ladies, you know, we got, uh, I, walked, I was at, the, um, at a game, had a basketball game yesterday, and this girl, these girls came in the, in the in the gym with these Daisy Dukes on, these beaters they had on white wife beaters they call them, and then they had on these Uggs with these with these these Uggs. These are winter boots <laughs> that females wear in the winter time, but it's 85 degrees outside. It's, it's almost just hot as you know what outside. And you got on these Ugg boots. They come up to your shins and your feet and stuff. It's got to be, you got to be sweating. I'm talking about you got to be sweating. But you got, I mean, they sell sandals at, the, uh, at your nearest rainbow. If you, if you need sandals, we got them at Shirt and Shoe Outlet. They got them on sale for $10.99, maybe $12. It all depends on your pockets, you know, where you can find them. They got the, um, the uh, little flip flops at the at your nearest gas station. They got green, yellow, blue, pink, whatever, whatever, it, whatever you think that you may need. They got that. You know, don't come out here with no UGG boots on. I know that might be the style, but that's not the right style. Now we want y'all to dress accordingly. You know, that's 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 not. Mm -mm. We don't let that one go. Okay. Now I want to talk about another. Uh, it's not an issue. It's, it's just a um, situation with. You know, blacks and whites, okay? Now, we know <clears throat> black and white people, they may not talk the same. They, they may be saying the same thing, but they don't talk the same, you know, when they're getting, they're, they're, they're getting things across. Now, in the process of getting into it with their own kind, like say if it was a white and, and white and white and black and black, let's say a white man getting into it with another white guy. This is how he would say, you know what, guy, you know, just don't even try it, okay? I'm, I, I don't want to go there, okay? We're good. And that's it. Now, you go on, on, across the street to the blacks. The black guy tell, man, do you, do you know who I am? You don't really want to do this. I'm from the bottom. I'm from the low where to get low at. 
I don't know you, you. You don't know where I'm from, do you? I'm from. You get to name and all, all types of stuff. Like we, I, you gotta do all that just to get into it with somebody. I'm, I'm not understanding that. I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, I, I, previously, I, you know, I be meeting females and stuff, and I met this young lady. She about 65 years old, and, <laughs> and I told her, you know, we, we, I met her at, uh, at, at the, at my, at dialysis down the street, and, and we was talking. And, and she, don't make me laugh. We was talking, and she just, you know, I don't know what it's called, but she just kept shaking her head. Like, every time <laughs> I was talking, she just kept shaking her head. I'm, I'm sitting there talking, like, you know what? You were really a nice, young, nice lady. She just sitting there just shaking her head. I'm like, what you mean, no? Like, what? I'm trying to compliment you. She's telling me no. Like, well, you know what? I'm, I want to go out with you. I want to take you on a nice little stroll. You know, we might want to go to the lake or something and walk across the beach or something. She's just steady, just doing all that. Like, are you saying yes or no? Like, tell me what you want now because I don't want to be wasting my, my uh, EBT card on you. You know, I just got my, my, uh, my taxes. And everything, I'm good. You know, my taxes went in. They gave me thirty-five dollars extra. I'm good. I can spend another thirty-five dollars on you. We can go to the movies. We can go take your, your, your grandchildren out. We can do all types of things. I just bought you a new cane. I did all of this for you, and she's just steady, just going off and just going in. You know, she got to go to all all types of stuff. And I, I tried to. We was we was we was talking, and then she picked up a Bible. So we, you know, we had Bible study a little bit, and a number fell out. I was like, you know what? We is not gonna have this, cause Earl, cause Earl, that you've been seeing down, down, down your little, they got little roles, you know, that they have in dialysis at the nursing home, and 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 and, and she been, I seen the man over there. He gonna look at me in my face, knowing this is my girlfriend, and he gonna try to say that they just friends, and it's a number fall out your Bible. I mean, you know what? These people out here, they're scandalous. Y'all need to get these relationships together. Get your boyfriend together. Get your girlfriend together. Get your wife and your husband together. Because folks out here just ain't, ain't right. They ain't right. Y'all ain't right. I'm just going to find me another girlfriend. I might go to, uh, to the night. But we're going to get off that subject. But that's pretty much all I got for today. What's cooking in the kitchen? Y'all make sure y'all tune in next time. I'm Keith Dean, a.k.a. Smacks. Y'all follow me on Twitter, at SmacksMrESPN. Y'all hit me up. Until next time. Excuse me. If I have an idea for the new show. Okay, talk to him. We need some new shows for the network and some fresh talent. No, Judah. Now you're doing a little bit too much. You're doing a little too much. We need to stay in a little girl's place here. Now, Antoine, mm -hmm. I feel that we do some do new shows, get some fresh new talent in here that we can produce for our new network. Right? Yeah. No. Then I just say that. No, no, you didn't. You yeah. said you said some fresh new talent or something of that sort, and some, some new shows or something. It's we don't need a new show. show. We got our own show. What do we need a new show for? Uh, we don't have LIP Network, all this other listen, stuff. Listen, 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 listen. We got enough talent right here in LRP. We don't need to go out and find no more talent. Look at this great talent we have right here in this room today. Yes. What are you talking about? Great talent. Yes. Great. Great talent. Great talent. Yes. No one's here with me? Can I? Antoine, let me, let me talk to you. Step into my corner. Hold on, you guys. You know, Side continue bar. talking. Side yeah. 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 Are you blind or something? Blind? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Great talent. Look back. Do you think that's talent? Yes, great talent. Really? Yes. Let's look back again. Great talent. Yeah. You call it, You really think that's talent? Yes, I do. You know what? I'm going to show you real talent. Okay. Hey, come, I'm going to show you. Okay. Look at it.
I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Right. Okay, but what we're gonna do? We need to get talent like yesterday. What, yeah. what, what are we gonna do? So last week, I'm gonna tell you this. Way. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, okay. I see where you go, man. Oh, okay. Come here. Come here, you guys. Come on over. Come on. Yeah. talent and a chance to win $15,000. Auditions will be held in Gary, Indiana at the Genesis Convention Center Friday, July 13th, 2012. Register online at lrpnetwork.com before it's too late. I want to thank each and every last one of you. Don't forget to go on audition for You Think You Got Talent this July 13th at the Justice Convention Center. Don't forget that trivia question, a $100 gift card. Who was the youngest president of the United States? I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Wait to season, the end of the season, you guys. It's going to be a huge show for our one-year anniversary show. I'm not going to tell you, but tune in for your next show. As we leave, can we leave back with some... Situations knock you out of place. Don't give up. Stay in the Are a part of every day But if you listen We'll show you the way Yeah, yeah, oh yeah Life takes a turn oh on you Backs up against the wall Just remember who to call The race is not given To the swift or to the strong But it's 